What's up, YouTube? And happy Saturday from the Clories. And Bruce Wayne, ooh, that made me very dizzy. Uh, today I'm gonna film a full day of eating for you guys, kinda show you the things that I'm choosing to eat as I'm trying to lose a couple pounds, I guess, if you will, for those that have been following the series. So I'll take you through a day of eating. And right now I'm going to head to the gym and get in a little cardio and shoulders. I honestly don't like eating in the morning when I go to the gym. 7.15 right now, so it's not like I get up and hang out all morning. I truly, no matter what day of the week it is, usually just get up and go to the gym. And the days that I do eat before I go to the gym, I don't work out as well, like I don't feel as good. So for me, it's just a preference first thing in the morning to just go to the gym. So that's what we're gonna do on an empty stomach. I'm gonna take some supplements because I need it. I've got in here some MTS greens and the delicious apples and cinnamon. And I mixed that with a scoop of the mango strawberry machine fuel. So that's going in one shaker cup. I'm gonna take a pre-workout this morning because I wanna have a really good workout and a good Saturday. So I'm gonna have MTS Ruckus Blue Raspberry is my favorite flavor. Probably do three quarters of a scoop of that. And MTS Creatine, unflavored, one scoop. And I'm gonna take, I'm almost finished up my first bottle of Regulator. I'm gonna throw that down the hatch too while I'm at it. Take three of those. good workout in and I am starving so for me personally if I'm trying to stay on track with my goals and eating right I prefer a giant breakfast after a workout something very filling with a good amount of fat 
carbs and protein in it. And it's about 11.28 right now, so you can see why I'm like really, really hungry. Um, so I made a little something different for breakfast this morning and it's kind of a combination of everything so i'm hoping it keeps me satisfied for a little bit and it kind of looks like huevos ranchos inspired i've got in here a lot going on i've got two servings of cauliflower rice i've got some potatoes like very small chopped up potatoes i have egg beaters fat-free cheddar and then i have one whole um, egg with the yolk guac pico and i think that's everything and a bunch of seasonings so it's a pretty pretty hefty plate pretty hearty breakfast and i'm also going to have with it too not sure if you guys have heard of these but i'm going to have a sumo citrus these only come available like a short period throughout the winter they're really really expensive it's like three dollars for a citrus fruit but they're seriously the best tasting so i'm going to eat that as well with this Get in a lot of good nutrients and should be pretty satisfied. So I'm so hungry, I'm so excited. Gonna drizzle this, so good. Beautiful thing about sumo citruses is that they peel so easy. Track it like an orange. I just wanna update you guys that that was like such a filling, delicious post-workout meal. <sighs> I'm so full right now. Can you, can you on good. camera, can you just for like five minutes not look like a scrub? Like seriously, what the fuck is it? What? It's clean. What is this thing? Like I'm clean right what now. What is that thing? What it's, is that? It's where the hair goes when you're in between like getting beautiful and eating your food. We shall see how long this fullness lasts. I just made these for Tiger Fitness YouTube. And this is when it's probably good that I track macros because if I didn't, I probably would have just been licking the bowl with a lot of chocolate in it. Probably would have popped one of those in my mouth and really just wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have been as aware of what I was doing or putting in my mouth. So for me, I like tracking macros because it kind of makes me stop and think and be a bit more mindful about my eating, if that makes sense. I know a lot of people are like, no, if you're a mindful eater, intuitive eater, you don't track. I feel like I have a nice balance of being able to be more mindful and intuitive while I'm tracking, if that makes sense. And I'm thirsty from doing videos, so we've been getting these yummy grape propels. So I'm gonna drink that. This can taste good. So when we do videos, I'm still not like over the fact of how good he is. <laughs> we just drag his bed to different places in the house. And he just lays there and respects. He respects production. Real cool, Kara. You choose to do a day of eating video and now I feel lazy is all lazy uh, and don't feel like making anything. It's the struggle where I'm hungry, but I don't feel like making anything. Jason and I are gonna go to a movie and we're leaving in 20 minutes and I definitely, it's four o'clock now, I haven't eaten since my big breakfast, which I have to say was very filling and satisfying. So that did tide me over, but I know I need to eat something before we go to the movie or else that will set me up for failure and I will just want to dive into a bucket of popcorn and some Sour Patch Kids because that is like my ultimate favorite. Like that's one of my favorite sheets. And I worked at a movie theater for three years and I never once got sick of the popcorn. I got sick of smelling like it, like after I'd leave work, you just stunk of popcorn. But I never got sick of eating it and it's still one of my favorite indulgences is getting popcorn from the movie theater even though it's so, so high in calories. Um, but once in a while I treat myself to it, but not today, not today. So I need to hurry up and find something to eat. I'll share that with you and then we're gonna go watch a movie forgot what it's called, but I'll update you on that. All right, so because I need to eat something quick and I don't really have like, I have a lot of food, but I don't have any like fresh produce right now. So I'm just throwing in something quick to tide me over and then I'll make like, I'll make a better dinner, you guys. But I'm gonna have some tuna fish, five ounces of bumblebee tuna with two servings of light mayo. And on top, this might be weird, but I threw in some reduced sugar craisins. That's like a half serving or 20 grams, something like that. And I'm just gonna mix it in together 
and eat that and see how I feel. That might seem like a weird combo, but if you guys know me, you know I have a love for the sweet and salty. So anything that makes your meat sweet is, is Teddy's in my book. Make your meat sweet, kids. All right, guys, we are back from the movie and I'm ready for dinner. It's almost eight o'clock. We did go and watch Game Night, which has Jason Bateman in it, who I love. I think he's super funny and it was just such a funny movie. At least I thought it was funny. I feel like I was the only one laughing in the theater, but it was really, really fun. So now we're home. I'm gonna cook myself dinner and I want something a little bit more filling again. I have a decent amount of macros left, so I want to get some veggies in, some more veggies, because I didn't have any this morning, so we stopped at the store on the way home, and I grabbed some mini bell peppers, grabbed asparagus, and some little tomatoes. Those are kind of my staple vegetables. They're something that always tastes good to me, and they're always satisfying to me, so that's what I'm going to have a combination of. I just cut them up, I'm gonna throw them in the pan. I think I'm gonna do a combo of some garlic with it. I do everything in squeeze form. I'm not much of a fresh, fresh person when it comes to this stuff because I waste it. And then this is just like uh, basil. So I'm gonna do basil and garlic for my veggies. And then I've got chicken. I'm just gonna cook four ounces of chicken. I'm gonna cook that with a little bit of coconut oil. And then I'm gonna throw this guy in the microwave and have some of that. And that's kind of like one of my favorite meals. My favorite go-to meals that's satisfying, healthy. So I'm gonna cook that up right now. I hate cooking chicken, it's so nasty. And normally I slow cook it, but I'm just kinda in the mood for some stovetop chicken. So just coconut oil in there, cooking that, which is probably gonna make a mess. And I got my vegetables going on my very dirty pan. Don't judge me. We ruin pans so quickly. My dinner looks so good. Look at those veggies. Got my jasmine rice, which is my favorite. And then I ended up adding some of that basil on my chicken. Splattered coconut oil everywhere, but it looks like it's gonna be worth it. So for me, part of eating for weight loss or eating to just stay on track with your goals, I feel like you need to be prepared for fitting in foods that you still crave and enjoy that maybe don't fit like the healthiest nutrient profile. So for me, I am a sweets lover and it's important for me to find a way to still incorporate sweets. You guys probably know this from all the recipes I'm always throwing up on YouTube, but even during like preps, which are like serious cutting phases, I always find a way to somehow satisfy my sweet tooth because for me if I don't then I just become obsessive about the next time I'll get to have dessert and it becomes this like obsession almost and like this fantasy about food and it really shouldn't be like that so if you're someone like myself that enjoys sweets that's fine find a way to fit them into your diet and you can definitely still achieve weight loss goals so I'm going to show you tonight for my last meal I'm going to make my her Vitam Brownie Bowl, which if you guys follow me on Instagram, Karakori Fit Life, then you probably see I post this all the time on my story because it is my favorite thing to eat for a treat. Um, it's just, it definitely helps curb that sweet tooth satisfies that and also does have like good nutrition to it and it doesn't taste like I'm eating something diety like it just tastes like I'm eating a brownie so I'm gonna show you guys how to make that very very simple right now so all you're gonna need is per vitam vegan protein link will be in the description box for you guys if you want to try this out I guarantee you will love it one scoop of this is what we're gonna use and that's two grams of fat four carbs, two of which are fiber, and 21 grams of protein, which is a complete protein source for anyone who is vegan. So smooth and creamy. This is the deal breaker on the brownie bowl. I'm telling you that right now. It's not a sales pitch. So you're gonna also need unsweetened cashew milk. Go need a little baking powder and some special dark cocoa. And yes, you need the special dark. This is what makes it. Well, this is what makes it, but this gets it, you know, Extra dark and delicious.
ended up putting it back in the microwave. I do a total of 60 seconds. And I'm going to add, add any little accoutrements you like on top, or toppings. I'm gonna do a half a tablespoon of milk chocolate chips, which is what, like eight grams? Seven grams. Seven, eight, no dip. I'm gonna use some of this CBD peanut butter chocolate. One serving of this, I believe, is one teaspoon or two grams. I do like this sometimes at nighttime. It does help relax me. I've mentioned this a little bit that it helps me with anxiety that I get sometimes at nighttime. So it kind of calms me down and has been helping with my sleeping. I'll just I'll sprinkle that in there. And this tastes really good, the peanut butter chocolate. I'm gonna add in some Cool Whip fat-free because your girl's got some carbs. And this is three carbs in a serving. Pop that shit right on there. I mean, if. Oh wow, see? Cool Whip does not go far. So that's like two-ish servings. Yeah, we got the carbs. It's leg day tomorrow, you guys. Boop. If you don't like Cool Whip, you can un unsub from my channel right now, because I don't like you. Just joking, that's mean. All right, that is gonna conclude my day of eating. No better way to do it than with this brownie bowl. It's gonna get turnt up in here. <laughs> That's gonna conclude this entire day of eating. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Please hit the like button if you did. Keep checking back for more.